Does distance to the front wall matter for a subwoofer? Here's a subwoofer. I mean, that's a subwoofer. <laughs> it comes from Ryan. This question comes from, not, not the subwoofer, the question comes from Ryan in Ascot, United Kingdom. Huh. I wonder if that's the Ascot that they, that they were. I've heard you discuss distancing speakers from walls for best sound, but I was wondering whether or not this applies to subwoofers. Would placing the sub close to the wall help to amplify the bass, or would this cause muffled bass, which lacks clarity? Also, does the angle that the subwoofer point to make an audible difference to sound? Many thanks, Ryan. Well, uh, let's take your last question first. Generally, the answer is no. So how you point, I, this thing weighs 350, 400 pounds, I ain't, I ain't moving it. But uh, where it's pointing really doesn't matter because what's coming through here is not very high frequencies. So aiming a speaker really matters only when we have higher frequencies. Now these are rolling off, their they're, they're cut off is about 70 or 80 hertz, that's where they start rolling off. So at that frequency, there is no directivity to the sound. What's coming out of here are big, long waves. And so pointing them, I mean, unless you point it backwards, but we're not gonna do that. So answer to the first question, no. Generally, it does not matter how you point a subwoofer. Second part of the question was, how about closeness to the wall? Well, certainly, uh, where you place a subwoofer in the room matters a great deal to how it's going to sound, but not in the same way that these mid-range tweeter panels need to be away from the wall. So generally, we want to take a standard pair of loudspeakers, and you don't want them up against the rear wall. You have no room for the sound stage. You're going to get funny tonal balances because speakers are designed to be out and away from the wall, okay? And that has to do with uh, the, the frequencies that they work at when, when they uh, uh, project sound, they wrap around. If they hit a wall, it gets reinforced and bounced back and it, it pumps up some frequencies while well, it doesn't do others. So you want to get them away from the rear wall. Not so much with a subwoofer. So subwoofers have very long wavelengths that crowd in the room. So whether it's up against the wall or away from it, not gonna make a lot of difference. Uh, now, people do put them into corners and that does act kinda like a horn. If you push it up against the wall, yes, that same thing will reflect more of the energy off of there. But generally, we're not so concerned with that because what we're more concerned with with the bass is hitting a point in the room where the standing waves, the nulls and the, the ups and downs in level of these long waveforms aren't collected up and, and amplifying too much at one frequency and not enough at another. So in my book, The Audiophile's Guide, I go through a very detailed method of figuring out where to place the subwoofer and where to place your seat to gr the greatest advantage. So it's a little bit more than I can go through in these videos. I will probably wind up doing some videos trying to help people understand uh, how to set up a subwoofer, how to set up your listening chair. It is in the book, The Audiophile's Guide, which now should be out in January of 2021. So look for it on Amazon. We'll, we'll get you handled. And I'll talk more about it. I'm not trying to, you know, I ain't going to tell you. You got to buy the book. No, it's just... We're, it, it's, it's setting up a grid, it, you have a certain CD uh, that, you, that you get and it, it has these uh, bass notes that repeat up and down and you're going to walk around the room. It, it takes a little bit of stuff to make this work, but look for that. So, All right, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later.